Good evening and welcome live from the Zohra Amit Chaudhary Stadium here in Chattogram. Coming up next is match number 30. It's going to be the table toppers, Rangpur Riders taking on Premier Bank Kolna Tigers. This match of Isfahani Bangladesh Premier League T20 powered by Nagod. That is the call. It's tails. Uh, Noodle, uh, what have you decided? Would you like to bet first? They certainly did follow the previous match and hence they won the toss and elected to bat first. Noorla San Shohan, two changes in the Rangpur side. Uh, batting wise, they look okay. They got pl plenty of resources, but their bowling looked thin. <laughs> These are the openers, Rangpur riders is urging the ballers to start off well because these two batters, Reza Hendricks, they are really dangerous and especially on a pitch like this. Yeah, bit of turn on offer for Nahidul, starting proceedings from the Nogod end. Now in the air, above point, will get a boundary. Did not look fully in control, but he still will enjoy that four. Yeah, got enough elevation to beat the fielder on that occasion. He just swung the bat in hope, saw the width and went after it. Now he was very lucky. What's yeah. for No need for a slip. Caught in because he bowls them out. His bold Ronnie Talukdar out. And that was poor from Ronnie Talukdar. Yes, he played a couple of dot deliveries, but it didn't mean that he had to play that one. That was just a heave. No thinking behind that one. And the baller would prevail in the first over. And this is Bahani BPL. And Ronnie Talukta only scored five from seven deliveries. Seven for one. Much fuller as he slashes at it. Outside edge, Bukidul Islam Mugdo, oh, second attempt, he keeps it in. I think that's a brilliant effort, he's coming back for the second, Shakib Alassan. Chodh to the non-striker's end, and uh, Riza Hendricks make it. Scampers for the two of the last delivery. So three runs, and the wicket, I think we'll just check before declaring it over if it was clean from Bukidul Islam. Looked okay. First attempt. Both hands, second one. So, pretty good. Sweeps it. Oh, that is sweet. Wings deployed into the stands. Makes it look simple. Is the first maximum of this innings. Yeah, we saw plenty of sixes hit in the first game. It was just a matter of time. And in the third over of the second game, we saw it happening again. A towering six from the bat of Shakir. Down the wicket, goes straight on this occasion. It is in the air. There is a fielder coming. And it beats the fielder. And goes for the second maximum of the over. Oh, he got that width outside the off stump, didn't it? And a bit of pace. He was always looking to hit the ball straight on that. Oh, Luke Wood, he carries on in same fashion. We saw one in the first over he bowled. Now in the second one, pretty much an action replay, different batter. Riza Hendricks, he goes. Did you get the answer? Why he hasn't got slips when the right-handed batsman is on strike? Because he's not using that natural angle. If the in-swing is working, he's sticking with those. And he's been able to pick up a couple of wickets. Both the openers removed. It's Riza Hendricks walking back after four runs, 24 for two. Oh, that is close. That is close. He's asking on questions. David Mills, he's not interested. Loud and clear, not out. Yeah, they've taken the review. Well, appears to be passing close to the bat. Uh, can I have Alfred, please? Original decision is not out, but pitching in line, impact in line, wickets missing. I'm going back to David on field. David, you are going to stay with your not out decision. Please stand by. You are on screen. You can signal now. 
It's Nahid Rana. Starts off with a short one. This is everyone past the keeper. Wide signaled and should be four runs as well. Yeah, featuring here in his first game, Nahid Rana. The game is set up nicely for him to come and go. Starts off with a wide. But the captain should mind it. That was a pacey bouncer. Tall, young, fast bowler. It's in this one. Now paid it late. Now he uses the pace of the bowler. Times it back for a point for four. Yeah, he was hoping for that length, and that's why he's been backing away from the leg stump. It wasn't that sharp, but that bounce he trusted helped him to execute that stroke. Just guided the ball. This is good from Shakib. Yeah, you talked about it. Gives the batter some cushion. Now outside edge and rushes off straight to the fence for four. Again he goes, he goes big. Reached Nafsu Mehmet with the maximum with the first ball he del delivers. Good evening, Sir Kirtley Ambrose. Good evening, Nathan. Hello, everyone. They are loving it, aren't they? It's a flattish delivery, but it was right in the hitting arc. And Shaki Balasan made no mistake. That was a good strike. From the word go. And with the kind of surface you've seen, he can do that one more time. Back to back sixes from the one and only Shakib Al Hassan. Immediately, Nasim is under immense pressure. Slow delivery. He flew the line 77 meters, they say. And he's on fire. That's four. What a beautiful show. This time down the ground. And across this quick outfield, once he gets past that 30 yard circle, his boundary. He's on fire. Uh, 18 in the previous Sova, and they've already picked up 16 in the first three deliveries. This is gorgeous. This is lovely shot. Youngster watching. While he's dealing in fours and sixes, that is his third six in this over. And all coming from the bat of Shakib Al Hassan. He is on fire, as you rightly pointed out, sir. This is carnage. A well flighted delivery, but yet again in the hitting arc. And the kind of form he's showing. Shakib Al Hassan, look at that. Hi. Hard and long. Oh, no! Loud appeal, it oh, might be a touch high. Mampai says not out. He's taking the review. <laughs> keep it rolling through, keep it rolling through. Flat line as the ball passes the bat. On field decision is not out. Ball pitching outside off. Impact umpire's call. We get hitting. Yeah, the Bushundara P decision is a not out yet. It's not a bad shot, that you. Four more. Down the ground. What a stroke. The undrive is not an easy stroke to play. 26 on that over. Round the wicket. It's a short delivery. And he's hit that straight into the hand. Oh! We've seen some drop catches in the day match. But this was a sitter. And it's Nahid Rana, the ball goes through his hand. He never looked comfortable. I am not surprised he dropped it. He never looked comfortable. Slow delivery. Hit a top edge. That should have been taken. Look at him. Why is he crouching down? He's a tall man. You've got to take that catch standing up. Never look comfortable. Down the leg side, poor bowling, gets the treatment, four more. He could have picked up a wicket, instead he's leaked. Great shot. 
If you do that, you're going to be punished. What a stroke. Down the ground again. Shaki Balasan is on fire. That brings up his 50. 52 from 20 deliveries. Gave himself a bit of room. And that was a beautiful stroke. Straight down the ground. But it's uh, about the ones in the middle. Oh, cheeky, but very, very effective from um, Mahadi Hassan. Again, a boundary of the first delivery that Nasu Mehmet bowled. Nothing much is going right. From Shakib down the leg side. That is poor. And I'll go wide for more. Poor delivery. Quicker delivery, slanted down the leg side. The keeper had no chance. The keeper has no chance. That's the skipper. He will not be a happy man. Flatter delivery. Look at that. Had no chance. Shot. Shots have catch it. Nobody's catching that. That is struck like lightning down the ground from Fomo. It's a flat batted shot down the ground from Shakib al -Hassan. Not the conventional on drive. Look at that. More of a horizontal bat. Slapped it good and hard. It was catchable height, but with enough force to get past Nassim. That is the top edge. Is he lucky? I reckon he is. And this goes for the boundary. Tonight is going to be Shakib al Hassan's night. He certainly is up to this point. Not where he intended it to go. There was a short third man, but he evaded him. And everything is going Shakib's way. He was dropped earlier. Swinging to the leg side. Seemed like he came over the back of the bat. And it's a six to finish the over. Good attempt, but not close enough. Another over, which has cost them 26 runs. After 10, it's 1-1-4. One, one, Foot. Shaki Balassan is going to keep on hitting the boundaries with the utmost ease. Whoever the bowler is on this partnership. Partnership is 100 now. This is a slot sweep into the crowd. Oh my goodness, what's going on there? The umpire's getting tired, holding his hands up every few deliveries. Belligerent hitting here by both Shakib and Madias. Out, taken. Well, it was entertaining. Yes, it was indeed, and the change worked. The Kulna Tigers will breathe a sigh of relief. Vin Lewis is taking that. Shakib Lassan trying to go over the top of cover. Has uh, hold out. As this is his third wicket. Slices it, I think, not getting hold of it. And a good sharp catch taken by Evan Lewis. And he's delighted. Very crucial breakthrough. All credit to the captain for bringing Wood back on. He gets Shakib Lassan for a brilliant. Welcome to the middle, and he loves it. Tucked it away for another half a dozen. Well, Afif has been brought on here because of how expensive Nasum has been. The skipper just can't afford to bowl Nasum again, so... Down the wicket. Doesn't quite get all of it, but just enough. Take it over. That uh, strike. With uh, the maximum takes uh, Madhya Santos 50, 54 of just 20 deliveries. This time it's the other side of the ground, it's found the gap. That is deliberately placed, it's not the easiest shot to play, the inside out shot, but he played it to a nicety. Oh dear, oh my goodness, that must have slipped out, that's going to be a no ball. Yeah, immediately goes down and rubs his hand on the grass there and says sorry. Too much to think about. This is such a nasty delivery. No one does it on purpose. No one does it on purpose. But for a batter, you don't pick it up. You don't see it. Not until the last moment. Hence the reason why 
Nisham and company would want. Nisham gets a hold of that. He's really nailed that and sent it sailing away into the crowd. See, this is a good shot. This really is a good shot because that's not a long hop. It's not a short delivery at all. He just gets into position so quickly and then almost it's underneath it. Gets right underneath it and he's got so much power. Oh, drags that. But, oh, oh, one, two, second uh, attempt. I think that's uh, stopped pretty well. Could have gone for four. That is... Uh, Frustration that adds on now. That's the leading edge. Oh! I think that's dropped. Nasum comes back into the action and straight away induces an edge. Now, Nahidul, the bowler in the previous over, was the fielder on this occasion. Jimmy Nisham shimmy down the track, didn't get hold of it, got both hands to it. It's in the air yet again, this time from the bat of Mehdi, Evan Lewis underneath it, and he makes no mistake. Finally, a breakthrough, Nasum comes for his third over and gets it. They needed that. This partnership was building quite nicely. And my head, he was looking dangerous as well. He got more height than distance. And Evan Lewis, perfectly placed at the deep mid-wicket. Took an easy catch in the end. Nasum picked up his first. But very expensive. Mahedi Hassan is going for a well-played 60. Wrong for riders. It's in the air. Anamul Haq Bijoy calling for it, the wicket keeper. And it's a good catch taken as they see the end of James Nisham in this innings. He has bowled well, Nahid, considering the total on the board already. Jimmy Nisham going for the big hit. Spliced off the bat, went high in the night sky. Good catch by Animal, the rookie keeper and the skipper. He celebrates Nahid. He has bowled well. Jimmy Nisham didn't get off tonight. He's going for 13. Rang Poor Riders, 1-7 to 1 for 5. Makes room for himself. He doesn't agree with that. One bounce for four from the bat of the Rang Poor skipper. They're loving it. Gave himself quite a bit of room. Still got enough wood in it to take it over the boundary for four. Again, but hit straight. That is well played from Nurla San Johan along the ground for four runs. Didn't quite get it right that time. Just as I explained a few moments ago, it's a high risk delivery. It was well pitched, but for some reason, Newell got enough butt on it. No fault of the bowler. That was well bowled. It was just a good shot in the end. Shuffles a bit inside out, finds the gap, just away from the fielder at mid-off. Back-to-back boundaries for the Rockpool captain. No, if you're going to bowl full, Going for the Yorker, you, you must have long on and long off. Didn't quite get it right. Turns out to be a half ball. You notice the change in field. The deep fine leg is come, now coming into the circle. And the mid off is going back to long off. That should have been the field if you're looking to bowl full. He goes straight, wings deployed, and that goes for a six. What a blow. What a blow that was from Neural. He's raised to 20 from seven deliveries. And now the captain is coming up to have a talk. The intentions are good, but if you don't get it right, you're going to go. And that's exactly what's happening here. It's in the air. Scudded. Evan Lewis. 
Oh, just missed it. Follows the batter in the air. I think it's a flat six from Nul Hassan Chohan. In the block hole yet again, and as Anamul Hak Bijoy speaks up from behind the stumps, brilliant, brilliantly bowled by Mokhidul Islam Mokdo. Even though he's gone for 12 runs, it was just that first delivery where he conceded a six. And that the target is 220 to win for the Premier Bank Kulna Tiger. Espahani BPL, final word from the captain to go out there and express himself. Of uh, the 20 overs, and uh, as mentioned earlier, there is a slip in place, there is a short third. Swarming things up. Comes down the wicket, goes aerial. Fielder is chasing that, but it's away from him. Few bounces to the boundary, brings the first four of this Kulna Tigers innings from the bat. Swept into the gap. Boundary number two. One is for both. Yeah, both these batters they took about two, three deliveries to warm up. And after that, they felt they have warmed up enough, went after the baller, and picked up a boundary. Full stride in. Pulls it short and he pulls it away. Does Evan Lewis launches it off the runway for a maximum? Is the first six of this Premier Bank Kulna Tigers innings. Well, he wanted to chase the bat. Does he still want to do that after that six? A long hop. Too short. Too short. Oh, much fuller appeal is the back foot given. He celebrates. It's given Evan Lewis, I think, will consult with Alex Hill and decide. He has already referred. He was pretty sure that there was a connection not of bat with the ball. Third umpire to director. We have a player review for LBW. On field decision is out. Both feet are checked. It's a fair delivery. We can start with front on first place. Ball appears to be missing the bat. Can I confirm that with ultra edge, please? Original decision is out. Ball pitching outside off. Impact in line. Wickets hitting. I'm going back to David on field. David, you are going to stay with your out decision. You're on screen. You can signal now. Review wasted. It looked dead. The only thing which could have saved him. Straight away, some swing and offer, but outside edge and rushes away towards the third band region for a boundary. Oh, this young fast bowler is highly talented. Yes, he was off the boil and during that first leg of Espahani BPL. But ever since he bowled in Sillet, beg your pardon, was in the air. But into the vacant area, boundary number two. Lucky runs for Alex Hales. Went full again. Hassan Mahmoud induced the outside edge. Planted his feet inside. Not much footwork. Looking for that Yorker. Oh, this is nicely timed. Alex Hales. This pace on offer, no problem. Dispatches it for a boundary. Or in a sprint. It has to be a marathon. He's played it straight. He'll get a boundary. Well, uh, did not hit it as uh, sweetly as he would want to. Short ball. Pulled away. Should be a boundary. It is. Good evening, HD. Welcome back. Yeah, it's good to be back. Arthur. Thank you. This man's been in good form. And on this sort of surface, if you just slightly out. Well, the problem is that if you don't connect, you'll be in 
trouble, serious trouble. And look at uh, where he is going. Imran Tahir running towards the boundary ropes, towards the fans. And again, his signature celebration picks up a wicket in his very first over. Good change from Nurul Hassan and success for Ranku Riders. Well, this man invented the celebration. Imran Tahir, when he takes him, he sets off. He's such a canny performer. Lovely variations with his leg spinners and googlies. Experience, played all around the world, is successful in any conditions. And he gets rid of a four man. Oh, misfield, four. Yes, it was hit hard, but Tahir won't enjoy that. Last three matches they've lost. Now has it timed it? Yes, he has. Uh, he's the real danger for Ronku Riders. But that six brings it to 50. This man can play T20 cricket. He has taken on the very best. And here he's dismissive of one of the best. Again, and the result the same. Yes, it is. So he's turning it on. Couple of sixes and couple of deliveries for Alex Hales. This is why he's dangerous, because he's so strong that he, he doesn't even need to find the middle of the bat and it goes out the ground. This is the toe end, and for a moment. Well, he releases a low full toss and he gets the treatment. This time it's a six from the bat of the left hander, Afri Fusen. Tahir knows he's made an error here. His previous over was so skillful. Perfect, in fact. But here's a delivery that Afif Hussain has been praying for. Again, a little bit too close, and he's hit that straight down. Riza Hendricks picks up the catch, and again he goes, fist in the air, and then this. 71 for three. Picked him out. And he does have a safe pair of hands, Rhys Hendricks. And off he goes. So, FIFA saying, looking for big runs, goes for 11 or fake deliveries. Bronco Raiders. Oh, yes, it sells over. Into the stands. Who's going to catch it? No one. 50 for Alex Hales, and it's taken him just 24 deliveries. Every game now, we're seeing the fastest 50 threatened. This is effortless, though. It's almost like a golf swing, and he hits this out the ground. And remember, HD, this is happening because they're playing on a surface where they're backing themselves up because the surface is true. It is turning out to be a batting paradise. He's off the back foot. That's not an easy shot to hit. And have a look at that distance, 86 meters. Oh, uh, he goes big time. He lashed onto that one. Bit of a surprise, he was struggling to get bat on ball in the previous over. But look at that smile, that tells you all. Hasn't he compensated for those four dot deliveries? The first delivery he faces and this over disappears. Important phase of the game. Guys, now he sliced it. Two fielders converging on it and one gets to it. Just in the nick of time, just within the boundary line. It is Imran Tahir off on a run round the ground here with his usual celebration. Yeah, diamond cuts the diamond. What a wicket. And what a balling change. They wanted to remove Alex Hales. And he has done it, Imran Tahir. First over he bowled, picked up a wicket. Second over he bowled, picked up a wicket. Third, the same result. And this is the biggest wicket so far in this innings of Alex Hales, who was looking dangerous. 
And that was a very good catch from Madi. They're still checking whether it's a legitimate catch or not. Well, it seemed all right. Uh, he's just waiting. He's making sure. And I think he's been told that it's... Uh, or is he going to hold up just before he crosses over? He does go out. So it's 99 for four. Off balance. Yeah. Mehdi. Oh, that's a flipper. And that's an appeal. Responded to by the umpire. Another one goes. But I think they might just go for the review there. Original decision is out, ball pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets hitting, going back to on field please. Litu, you are going to stay with your out decision, you are on screen, you can signal now. Good decision from the umpire Litu and another one bites the dust, this Akbar Ali. Doesn't bother the scorers. I oh, got him, clean him up. Jimmy Nation strikes timber. He hadn't the foggiest idea now you do about that delivery. Played all over it, and he has been castled. Uh, although, it's not a hat-trick for one baller, but it's a team hat-trick. Three wickets in three deliveries. What a strong comeback for Rangpur Riders. Nigel Islam goes without bothering the scorers. And he has done that so many times. Oh, came very close. Has he chopped on to the stumps? Is it wicket number five? Yes, it is. Because we are witnessing the signature celebrations from Imran Tahir. Wow, what a celebration. What a wicket. That was the googly. The one went the other way. Habib Rahman did not read it. Got the inside part of the bat. And it was heading only one way. Into the stump, there he goes, the wrong one. And just flicking off the bales. And he's uh, second five uh, of the tournament. And it is, of course, the veteran, Imran Tahir, who is doing the damage here. Habib Rahman goes for an unlucky 13 of 13. It's 104 for seven. Tempts the batter who slaps it down the ground. And it's gone racing away to the boundary. And that is the completion of uh, the Imran Tahir quota of four overs. Five foot 26. Trying to take a lot of risks and trying to hit like that. And well, he did well. He did play it away from the fielder there. Four more runs. Yeah, a bit of pace and length offered to the batter to make the most of it. I think it went for six. Yeah, just opened the face of the bat deliberately to hit the ball aerial and all the way. Yorker, he's got all of that. It's sailing away and it's gone many a mile. It's a long, long six. You know, the back of the hand. And he's picked that up uh, very, very quickly. It was in the slot. And uh, Luke Wood has uh, hit that beautifully. Well, that's what they're eyeing. Shouts of catch it. Oh, he we have to wait and see. That was acrobatic. He couldn't hold on to the catch, but what he tried to do that has he saved the six or not? He doesn't, he doesn't know. But definitely they'll have a look here. Oh, he's saved here. Out of it. Pulled him. Quick delivery onto the pass and then onto the stumps. Mahedi, the man. Nothing has gone well for Kulna Tigers today. They are wounded. They, they say sometimes a wounded tiger can be extremely dangerous, but not this time. They're wounded, they're not dangerous. Nasum Ahmed is gone for 17. Hassan Mahmoud, you know, he's uh, throwing his bat around, again, outside edge, and again, a boundary. And win matches. That should be taken. And it is. The finally, Luke would uh, 
cameo of 20 and 13 deliveries comes to an end and it's Ripon Mondol who picks up uh, the catch. It is uh, Hassan Mahmoud who picks up the wicket. Easy catch in the end for Ripon. Lokwood bowled extremely well today. So there's still hope. But it, it, it's, it's a tough task, isn't it? Uh, to be in that position under pressure, knowing that uh, they've got to pull a minimum of two wins, if not more, to make a challenge to anywhere. Yep, stump. Too easy. Oh, he's giving it, Dampa is giving it. He must have been caught behind. It's all over for the Kulna Tigers. They finally succumb to the fatal wounds. And the run for riders flying high, winning by 78 runs. What a clinical performance. They plundered the ball into all parts and they defended the 219. Kulna Tigers was never in the hunt. Tonight they were the prey and they succumbed quite easily to the high flying Rampo riders. As we hear shake hands all around, big disappointment for the Tigers. Yeah, on a turf which has turned out to be a good pitch to bat on. The spinners have done the trick one more time. Shakib al picking the last wicket, but it was Imran Tahir who really did the trick with the ball. Alex Hills was the only one who showed that uh, they were on for the chase. 16, just 33 deliveries and nothing much to write home about from the others. 141 getting bowled out in 18.2 overs and handing Rongpu riders a big win by 78 runs. Look at those figures. A wicket for Mahedi, one for Hassan, one for Jimmy Nisham. Two for the impressive Shaki Balasan, but look at Tahir, 5 for 26 from 4. He was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's the match summary. Noel Hassan Shohan will be very happy to see his troops, Rongpu Riders, piling those numbers on the board. 219, the second time on the same day a team has gone across to score 200 runs. 219 for 5, Shaki really batted with blistering pace. 69 of 31. Mahdi Hassan was equally good. 60 of 36. And then some fireworks at the bottom from Nul Hassan. 32 of 13 and 70 not out from 12 deliveries, ensuring they had runs on the board. 3 for 19 for Luke Wood. But uh, Kunna, apart from Alex Hill, had no answer and were bowled out for 141. Imran Tahir was pick up the bowler. <laughs> For more update, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T-Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.